Again, for Kimmy Schwimmy. How about that? And of course, the first thing we do is clean it. <laughs> I forgot to clean it. I'm going to clean it first and then I'll be back and we'll put on a primer. How's that? Okay, goodbye. Okay, it's clean. I used alcohol, but I always clean with usually alcohol and everything that I paint. And now we're going to put on primer. And this little whatever it is, Halloween skeleton, face, hands, he has no top of his head. And it's like a bowl. Uh, Someone said, put a brain in it. <laughs> well, if I could find a brain, I might. But I think we'll just maybe fill it with Halloween candy. Maybe. I don't know. It's actually going to Kimmy Schwimmy, so whatever she and Anthony decide to put in it, I guess, is what will go in it. So I'm going to do a little bit of priming with you, and then I will, as usual, go finish it and then come back because I have to put a primer and a base coat and then gritting and then the fun part which is the painting and this is another one of these with the uneven surface it's got all kinds of little holes and little cracks and it's very not even so it's not totally easy to paint. And I haven't totally decided how I'm going to paint this yet. I need to sit down with my trusty notepad and figure it out. Although, I don't know if I can draw this. I don't even think I'm going to try to draw this. I think I'm just going to go, okay, the bowl's this, this is this, the hands are this, the face is this. Uh, and then I'll probably change it over and over as I go through. But you get the drift. We're getting the primer on. And I'm going to go finish this up. And then I'll be back. In fact, I may even put the base coat on before I come back uh, to see you again. But this is for Halloween. And oh, I went out shopping. And I found this orange blouse. Do you know that there's only one orange blouse in the whole department store of Belks, which is where I went. But I found these really cute earrings. They're kind of long for me because I don't have a long neck. But they're really cute little three-tiered pumpkin earrings. I got them at Target. So if you're looking for cute earrings, go to Target. I couldn't find any at Belks. They didn't have any. They actually told me to go to Walmart. Well, Target came up first before Walmart, so that's where I went. I walked in and boom, there these were. They were six bucks, and I walked out of there happy as a lark. Okay, that's enough about my shopping spree. And I'll be back when I'm done with all of this. Bye-bye. <laughs> now maybe you can see a little design that I'm doing in the middle of the bow, the dashing diamonds. And I've measured my one inch marks all the way around. And I just take my ruler and I put it flush with the table here. 
and then I hold it steady and I make my marks all the way up with my gel pen. So I'm gonna keep going. I've already made most of them. And I just take my gel pen and go all the way down. And I'll do that all the way around. Flush with the table so that I know it's, oh dear. It's a little hard to do what I'm trying to show you, but that's how I do it. And I just keep going around. And it makes my little lines to paint in. Just have to hold it steady. And it's always worked this way, that everything's pretty straight. So there, I've got all my vertical lines around this little guy. And there's my buddy out there, Rascal. Hey, Rascal! <laughs> the next door neighbor's dog, he's so adorable. He's my buddy. He barks at everybody but me. He likes me. So then I've marked my uh, horizontal marks and I'm gonna have to go and mark them all the way around and then I will just connect them with my gel pen and then I'll have my royal squares to paint. That's how I do it. And it will it's gonna be 22 by six and it'll make an even amount of royal squares. That's how I do it. So I will pause and finish up this marking and then we'll start painting. <laughs> 